you guys, Fred here of VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcraft and Outdoors. It is November the 11th, Remembrance Day here in Canada. So I just brought out the other snow machine out to uh, James' house. I have the Nyko Packer wood stove, my chimney with the uh, modification I made for my bell tent, an extension, plus all the other pieces are in the stove here. So going to take the stove up to the uh, tent and I'm going to set it up inside there so I'll catch up with you guys from the top. As you guys can see we had snow last night. We're here. So we're gonna knock some of the snow off this guy. Obviously. We had quite a bit of snow last night. Oh. Let's go inside and 
We'll knock it off. Oh, boy. There we go, all good. Then, I'm gonna open up the stove jack. Tie it up, make sure it's okay here. We'll bring everything in we need. Everything's frozen from the rain. Oh yeah. After. All right, let's uh, get some stuff together. All right, bring the stove in. Trying to get my grate in here, guys. That's all. Like so. All right. Damper keeps coming out. Something going on with the damper here. Oh, okay. I gotta push it in more. That's all. And there we go. All right. Let's bring it inside. See if you can see in here. I know it's kind of dark, but all right. Stove. Just a little bit with this too. Okay. Bring it up a little bit higher if we can the tent. All right, so damper goes on the stove here. And then what we did was I have my extension here and my adapter. The adapter I made, try and keep the snow out and everything else, right? That's why I made this thing. Here, guess I could come up a little more. See, last year it was so high. Uh, how can I do this? Let's see here. Yeah, last year the stove was pretty high. That's okay. Um, go with that. All right. And 
then I think I had a couple pieces on here last year, but I think I can get away with this section. I think I'm going to cut a, a green tree for this. See, I'm, the tent's up a lot higher too, <laughs> properly this year. Uh, plus, I just pushed the tent up a little bit, so that's probably why uh, this side here is not being totally covered by the... Uh, the uh, modification that I did because we are fairly high that's for sure so but that's okay that still works so I think what I'm gonna do I go cut myself a green tree yeah I don't think I need too much I can just that's all I'm gonna do so I'm gonna myself a All right, so that's up. So let's grab some material to see if we can't get a fire going in the stove. I always have some bark here. Some wood. All right. All right, guys, you still going? All right, sorry for the delay, uh, but we're gonna see about splitting up a little bit of wood here. Get some fine stuff in there. Ground is really, still really soft here. Yeah, split this outside. Ground is just way too soft in here. Get started, and then we'll, we'll get some, cut some pieces here. Work in here. Okay. Open that ground for up. I don't like this spring. There we go. Try that. Light it if it will take. <sighs> Could have had a little bit longer going out. Oh, that's all right. We'll make do, I guess. Lighters, hey, you gotta love them. Keep them warm, they work. They don't keep warm, they don't work. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can get this thing burnt. 
Get it the take. All right, now let that go, let the stove dry out. I'm head in the bush and go cut some more, uh, some dry stuff. So I'll catch up with you guys here shortly. All right, so we got the stove ripping here. Water dripping. And go get some more stuff to put in there, burn everything off. Chimney. So what I could do though, if I want to bring the stove up a little bit, is I could just put something under the legs. Like I said, the last time we had it set up, it was so uneven. And that did stick out of there, no problem. But like I said, the tent's a little high on this end. You can tell by the skirt down there that we are a little high. But that's all right. You know, just bring it down if we want to later. But I think it'll be fine. I can tell you guys, it's like a sauna in there right now. You go in right away, as soon as you open that door, the glasses fog up and uh, you can feel the heat in there. So they hold the heat, you can see the water running off it from the snow. So there's a dead spruce back here. I'm gonna go cut it up right now. Uh, have some pieces for Saturday night because we'll be spending a night here Saturday. It's uh, Wednesday today. And the plan is to spend the evening here, <coughs> fire shelter in here, and maybe work on the base for the prospector tent. I think it's what going on five right now, so I'm gonna head back down. Uh, oh no, it's only quarter after four. So there you go, all good. So I'll catch up with you guys here. A little bit later if I don't you know what
Thanks for watching, guys. This is Fred. Heavy E3 FAL. Ontario Northwest Bushcraft and Outdoors. 7-3, guys.